It's no secret that building design is a demanding profession. Long hours, intense deadlines, and client demands can take their toll on even the most resilient of us. Most of us have days when we feel overloaded, when dragging ourselves out of bed requires the determination of Hercules. If you feel like that often, your career may be burning you out. And burnout is a gradual process. It doesn't happen overnight. It creeps up on you. And burnout is a real danger in our field, leading to being unhappy, decreased productivity, and even health problems. So what is burnout? Burnout is a state of physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion. Burnout's a real danger in architecture, but it doesn't have to be inevitable. You can stay healthy and happy in your career by taking steps to avoid burnout. When an individual reaches the point of burnout, they may feel cynical and resentful toward their work, and they may be disengaged from their job. This can lead to decreased productivity, poor decision-making, and missed deadlines. It can be caused by many factors, including work overload, unrealistic deadlines, lack of control over one's work, and inadequate support from colleagues or superiors. There are a few key ways to avoid burnout in your architectural career. First, setting realistic expectations for yourself, your team, and your clients is essential. Deadlines produce stress. In general, deadlines are good. Even if we change the deadline, having one keeps a project in the forefront of our planning minds. In general, stress is good. We grow our strength by putting our muscles under pressure when we exercise. Now, one of the hardest things that I have to learn is how to say no. Another one is delegating. It may be time to reevaluate the types of projects you take on. Do a study of determining which products produce the best results. Create a filtering system. But what if all your projects are great? Then delegate. It may be time to put together a team or increase the size of your team. AIBD's online membership roster helps with that. A search category identifies members by their specialties and reveals those interested in working with other members. Illustrating how muscles grow when we stress them is a great example, but I forgot to stress, pun intended, that it works best when you give the muscles adequate time to recover. That brings me to my second point. Take breaks when you need them. It's important to step away periodically to recharge and come back fresh. A 10 minute walk can improve your mood for a couple of hours. A couple of days away might improve your mood for a few weeks. The stepping away may not mean leaving work. It might mean doing it in a different place or in solitude. You might find that sketching, researching, and all the other things you do to create is relaxing and not like work at all. In that case, stepping away can mean scheduling a day to unplug. Condition everyone to know that one day a week, you don't make appointments, you don't take phone calls, and you unplug digitally like from email and social media. Focus on the tasks that you enjoy, enjoy most. Finally, make sure that you have a good support system in place. This could be colleagues who understand your workload, or a family member or friend who can offer emotional support. I surround myself with mentors and meet with an accountability partner I affectionately refer to as my success buddy weekly. Opening up won't make you a burden to others. Most friends and loved ones will be flattered that you trust them enough to confide in them. My father taught me to learn from other people's mistakes. Now, I've realized that it's better to learn from other people's successes. And another way to engage with colleagues is to attend social events outside of work hang out with others successfully handling the same workplace demands and ask them how they do it. To summarize, the key ways to avoid burnout in your architectural career are setting realistic deadlines, taking a break, and turning to others. A month from now is the perfect opportunity to put all of this into practice. The Design and Build Summer Conference is in St. Paul, Minnesota on July 29 and 30. We've reserved a limited number of hotel rooms at $100 per night discount, but that offer ends in two days. All the information, including the number to call the St. Paul Hotel, is found at aibd.org slash summer conference. I've also added the link in the notes below. Learn how to set realistic deadlines, be creative, meet other professionals, make new friendships, 
and more importantly, recover. Do you have any tips for avoiding burnout? Share them with us in the comments. Thanks for watching this entire video and have a triumphant week.